Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and finally, I can tell you guys about Embryo Lee stuff. So keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lippy stick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yes, finally, I can talk about Embryolees. Now, Embryolees is actually a French-based company, and they specialize in skincare for a long time now, actually. So they have a name out um, in France. Uh, they're in Paris. And they were introduced to the U.S. about 10 years ago. And I was introduced to the line about 8 years ago by an amazing makeup artist who's also a colleague of mine. And ever since I've been impressed about the product, but I could not recommend it because it's so inaccessible and you cannot buy it. I mean, their website did not have a shopping cart and the only place that carries embryo lease was a uh, pharmacy in New York City called New London Pharmacy. And every time I would go there, they're always out. <laughs> and they, of course, you know, they'll tell you, oh, maybe two weeks, check back in two weeks, check back in two weeks. And they were never in stock, so they were like, it was so hard to get this product. So recently, they've been active at doing makeup shows and uh, also uh, more and more, like, uh, you know, companies are also retailing them. And I know that so many makeup artists, I did not know that there are so many makeup artists, much like myself, that uses this but could not recommend it because of the fact that. You know, there's no place to get them. So artists like Kat Aragon and John Hennessy, uh, Janai Chen, are so avid fans of this product. Now I'm just going to kind of like introduce you guys to Embryo Lease. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys who are pros are probably using this already. So make sure you comment your experience below on uh, how you use the product or how the products are working for you. Because we, everybody wants to hear about it. Um, and I'm going to start you guys with the Embryo Lease Lotion Mesolaire. Okay, and the Mesolaire is actually my favorite makeup remover because it's got a built-in toner to it and it really cleans. It's super gentle, it doesn't burn the eyes and it actually um, also opens the pores so that it cleans deeper than the skin surface. Now as you notice my skin is a little red because I just washed it and exfoliated so I have red patchings and uh, I have a little bit of oil kind of seeping through now. But because of the weather, this is time of the year where you get cold nights and like warm days. And then sometimes it would rain so your skin would go ballistic on you. I'm getting like a little bit of flaking right there. I don't know if you can see that. And then of course I have redness from, you know, exfoliating and stuff like that. Because uh, my skin's, you know, kind of like flaky because of the uh, weather. Cold and warm, cold and warm, and whatnot. So, um, what I'm going to do is basically just demonstrate it's basically the same exact way as if you're using this as a makeup remover. Alright, so I'm just going to gently clean my face with it. And even though I just washed it, it still picks up a little bit of dirt, as you can see. But I'm actually, right now at this point, after the toning part of it. Alright. And as you can see, my pores are opening up right there. Okay, and then it kind of feels like cool. It cools a little bit after you apply it, and then the pores are going to close up. So while the pores are open, that's the best time for you guys to really clean it. Look at all that dirt that's still picking up. And I already washed and exfoliated my skin. So... I'm mainly doing this, of course, to further clean my skin and also to tone it because of the built-in toner. Oh my god! So, yeah. <laughs> wow. It picks up stuff. So that's why I love this. Because it really, really cleans the skin. Especially over the lid where your client might have, you know, mascara residue. And the hard-to-reach places or hard to clean like the inner corner and stuff it's best because it doesn't burn the eye I mean I can clean my eye like open with this and it doesn't sting or anything and yeah 
I don't know if you guys can see all that dirt that just came out. And I just washed my face. So you can never really tell if you have clean skin until you do this. So that's one thing I like about the Lotion Micellaire. Okay, so that's available. Actually, oh my gosh. And this is only like two weeks and I already used that much. But I'm not going to freak out because I ordered some more. And I just got a new bottle. Yay! And then... The next product I'm going to introduce to you guys, which is popular, and this is what most of the professional artists really, really use, is the Le Creme. Now, Le Creme is a concentrated moisturizer. It's really, really rich, guys, so a little goes a long way. Now, there are so many ways that you can use this. It comes in a tube form. All right, I'm just going to pick up a little bit. All right. And that is actually a lot, so I'm only going to use very little of that, all right? And then I'm going to use that as my moisturizer. So, of course, that's the first thing. And it's got all the nutrients that the skin need, all right? And, like I said, a little goes a long way. If you really lather this on like that, it's going to be so rich. And look at how, like, really, really rich looking that is on my skin, okay? And it's going to give you a little bit of a shine, almost like a really, really dewy finish to your skin. As you can see, I have the redness from my exfoliator. But all that's going to get toned down. Alright, so that's the first thing that you can use this for. Now the next thing that I love using this for is like making my mineral makeup, especially for my clients who love mineral makeup, turning them into uh, almost that cream foundation so that it evenly spreads in the skin. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you guys. Of course, I'm going to go back to my leg creme. And I'm going to put a little bit of leg creme on my Petri dish. Very, very little, just that much. And then I'm going to use my mineral foundation. And with mineral foundation, if you if you just apply this on moisturized skin, it's great because you're going to it's going to act as kind of like a, a binder on your skin, so that way your mineral foundation does not um, slip off or like fade away or dry off, and then you know like slip off the skin, and therefore it's going to last on your skin a lot longer. So I'm just going to demonstrate this to you guys. <clears throat> so for this, it's best to use a standard foundation brush, which is a filbert brush. And what you're going to need to do is just pick up a little bit of the product, all right, and then add that onto the Le Creme, and then fold and mix that, all right. And of course, less powder is going to give you a sheer finish, almost like a uh, tinted moisturizer, and then more powder will give you more coverage. So I'm adding a little bit more. I want to show you guys what full coverage would look like. Again, this is just mineral makeup added on to the leg creme. All right, and then I'm just going to apply that and see how the coverage is. It's covering the redness in my skin. Okay. So get that on the skin first and then blend it later. Feel free to make faces. <laughs> That's the fun part about makeup. It's the faces you make. All right, so that looks really, really good. And as you can see, it's giving you a nice dewy finish. So everybody likes that, especially spring and summer. It's great to have like that dewy look on your skin. And this is going to give you just that. All right, if you don't like a lot of dewy to the finish, there's a good way to relieve that as well. I'm going to show you in a second. All right. So you get that nice dewy finish. Now, if you don't like that dewy finish, it's really simple, guys. Use your powder in a powder brush. All right. And then mattify it. See? See, the shine is gone. The dewy finish is gone. And if you want that dewy finish, do not use any dry powder on top of it. Okay, and I'm using this in a dabbing motion because I don't want to disturb the coverage. Alright. And that's pretty much it. So, 
just powder as needed until you get the desired finish if you want a little bit more of a matte finish to your foundation. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this using liquid foundation because it works in any formulation of foundation really. Uh, but I'm just going to show you guys how to make a tinted moisturizer with it that will give you a beautiful dewy finish. And again, I'm just going to use the lip cream, and I'm going to use very little of my liquid foundation, All right, just like that. And then I'm going to fold and mix those to make sure that it's sheer. And then I'm going to apply to this side of my face to give me just a uh, tinted moisturizer look and still gives me coverage. All right. And of course, you know, with tinted moisturizer, you really can't get coverage. So if you need a little bit of uh, concealing, you need to do that first. You need to conceal and then use a tinted moisturizer because, uh, or your own made tinted moisturizer. Okay. Just like that. Look how dewy that is. So this one's mattified because of the powder. And this is really dewy. So if you have great skin, you don't need, you know, concealing. You don't need a lot of coverage. It's best to just use a tinted moisturizer, much like this. And you can convert any of your foundation, whether it's powder, mineral, or liquid. You can also use cream. Just thin that out using your Le Creme and you're ready to go. All right. And look how like dewy that is. So I know many of you guys are asking how to achieve that dewy finish. Now this is your secret. So that's pretty much it. So definitely look into these two products for now. I have other products that I'm also going to uh, eventually uh, review and demonstrate for you guys in the future. But for now, definitely look into these two products. Again, this is the lotion Messelaire and the Le Creme got a new box because I know this one's gonna go really fast and uh, I'm going to add the link to the more info section on how you can get these um, directly from Embry Elise so thank you so much for joining me guys until next time I'll see you guys soon bye